What's up, guys? Average Kiwi guy here. How are you all doing? So, BlizzCon's gone on at the moment, and one of the more bigger stories to come out of BlizzCon at the moment uh, is, of course, Diablo Immortal. Uh, kind of the upset Diablo fans. Um, Blizzard's basically making a mobile game. They're making a mobile game. Uh, they partner up with NetEase. Um, apparently, they've been partnering with them for 10 years. I have not heard of them I, I honestly i'm not a big mobile game gamer i'm not i don't play uh mobile games all that much these these hands do not like mobile games like mobile uh platforms and stuff like i struggle with ds's like it just my hands cramp up i, I don't like the feeling and it's just um so when i saw this i was like instantly it's like it's not for me and I admit I'm not the biggest Diablo fan either. Like, I, I, I played the heck out of Diablo 3, but <clears throat> it's not my, you know, fandom. It's not my, like, num one of my top, uh, like, series that I love. Especially even in Blizzard. Like, I'm more into Warcraft uh, and even Overwatch uh, over the top of uh, Diablo. Um, and even Starcraft, I should say, as well. Um, but... A lot of people were very, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Um, and I think also it was where it was, where it was announced too. Like this was like the coup de grace, like the the final thing of the uh, of the entire presentation. You know, this was what was, everything was kind of building up to, and everyone was wondering like, okay, where's Diablo? What's Diablo doing? And it felt like you know, leading up to BlizzCon that this w was going to be more of a Diablo-centric year. Like, this was, you know, and they tried to tone down all of that. They tried to say, like, you know, we're not, we're not talking about Diablo 4. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. You know, we've got a couple projects with Diablo that we may tell you, you know, stuff like that. And Diablo Immortal was what they announced. Um... I do think it would have helped them if they did not announce it, the, the very last thing. Um, it, it was a down year for BlizzCon, like, announcement-wise. There was not a, um, a big thing, really. The biggest thing was uh, Warcraft 3 Remastered. So that, that tells you something. Like, it's, there's no new big expansions. There's no new games. There's no big thing that's really, you know got people going like even wow classic would probably be the second biggest thing along with warcraft 3 um so it it was just one of those one it's just one of those years where there's just not much there so unfortunately diablo immortal fell in on that like that last mic drop moment and it was not what people wanted um unfortunately like and I am shocked Blizzard haven't done mobile games yet. Um, not that I know of. They may, they may have done some that I, I have not paid attention to, but it's definitely... Um, it, it makes sense for them business-wise. Because you have to understand, like, mobile games are easy to make, or quicker to make than regular games, and they make more money majority of the time, depending on how they're marketed. Um, now, will, be, will Blizzard be one of those mobile game companies that try and drain the hell out of your wallet you know suck all the money out of you are they going to be one of those we don't know um i have not played diablo immortal i do not know what it's going to be like i just know it's not for me because i'm not a mobile uh game you know user i just don't don't play them um but i can't understand the pain of diablo fans that were like really really like diablo's kind of been pushed to the back for a while now like you remember diablo 3 came out in like 20 like 2000 2012 yeah um and yeah we had reaper souls and then we had the necromancer like pack but that that's really been it there hasn't been much else all they've done is do more ports you know they've just done the port to um switch which is which is funny because now you're making a diablo that's portable but you already just you have a better diablo that's portable on a better device so it but it's not as accessible as one mobile game would be 
So, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper to make. Um, now, they did try and make it appealing to Diablo fans by saying, like, you know, this is after Diablo 2. This has some very, you know, the sort of connecting stories between 2 and 3 and, like, what's Dick and Kane been doing, what's Tyrael been up to, you know, because after all that time, like, what, what, what's been happening in that time? Like, you know, when the, like, like the, the Demon Hunters or something got uh you know created stuff like this like the they listed off all these things that would appeal to those who love the lore of diablo and stuff like that but unfortunately i just don't think this was the audience to announce this to because you know, i remember a lot of blizzard game majority of blizzard games maybe now not with overwatch because overwatch is on consoles and stuff but majority of blizzard games are pc based games so mobile launches don't go well with pc people like you see what happens when someone announces a mobile game at e3 people have pe people freak the fuck out you know people are saying the death of uh, of command and conquer because of the mobile game that got announced you know and now people are saying similar things with diablo it's like this was not the place to do it to blizzard and they're normally better than this they are normally a little bit better than this and they I don't know if they were so confident in it that they were like, nah, nah it's going to be fine. Like, people are hungry for Diablo. They're going to eat this up. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens when everything calms down and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, like, now they're, uh, like, apparently at the, the panel that was right after the opening ceremonies, which I don't think that was wise planning. You know, and this tells you how they didn't quite expect maybe the backlash they got from from a mobile Diablo, like being the the primary thing you tell for Diablo. Like it would have been okay if it was a side thing, but it wasn't. They had the panel right afterwards, and it was all about Diablo Immortal, and people like were asking very awkward questions for the developers, and I feel sorry for the developers because I mean they they're proud of what they're they're making, and you know it's it's you know tough for them to have these you know have people come up to them and like kind of scoff at their game a little bit um like people were asking like is this a april fool's joke and stuff and they kind of had to like ha 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 no 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 it's real when they kind of had to try and explain this stuff and it's it, it's i mean it's 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 tough for them i feel a little bit sorry but fortunately it was just not well planned i think like any other year where you had like last year where you had battle for azeroth stuff going off when you know maybe if something was bigger with like when the overwatch league came out and like all this stuff like maybe to overshadow it a little bit it would have been fine but because it was a down year this became kind of a bigger story and now it's kind of the thing to bash on so um and also apparently there uh people have found uh, another NetEase uh, game that looks very similar to what Diablo Immortal is looking like. Like, it just looks like that game, but with Diablo assets put over the top of it. Um, honestly, I think that's just mobile games because there's very limited on what stuff you can do with mobile games. And if you're going to do that, it's, like, it's just like RPGs, you know, that type of control RPGs, you know, sort of perspective look up just they, they they they're all gonna look this similar anyway especially on a mobile device so i don't know I, that that looks like they're trying to people are trying to find stuff just to bash on the thing i mean i'm not happy about it i'm not happy about it i mean it's it's definitely not my thing i definitely won't be playing it in any way um it was a bit like when uh what was it like elder scrolls blades came out and everyone just like flipped the shit on that but they were the thes were kind of lucky that they kind of slipped in elder scroll 6 at the end of their uh, of their um presentation so it kind of dulled it down a little bit um so and unfortunately blizzard did not do that so hopefully blizzard will you know kind of learn from this a little bit maybe just understand their their player base a little bit you know and where how you know their people that are watching their things will react to this sort of stuff and they'll, they'll maybe get a better reaction if they had something else with it or 
maybe do this more on the sly a little bit um try to not make such a big deal about it because we're not gonna get hyped up for mobile games it's just not gonna happen it's not the people that they were you know showing this off to are probably not the people i mean they'll probably play it but it's not going to be their big market that comes out of this you know i imagine it's going to be more to like a random mobile player that just finds it and likes oh that looks cool and he just starts playing it you know they, they probably don't even have the moment even know what diablo is so it's just to go to a more generic market which is a shame it's a good thing for board members and stuff like the you know the board and to to see the money coming in because mobile games make money that's what happens mobile games make money and they're easy to make and not easy but they're cheaper to make and yeah it, it, it makes sense for them on a financial re you know thing but uh, telling you diablo battle royale or something i've been a better choice i've been a better choice i was half expecting a battle royale to come out of blizzard because they very much do that they very much do that they find out what's popular and make a their own version um but i mean i don't know it's just it, unfortunately there's always you know sort of one thing that gets you know sort of doesn't go down so well at these conventions and at these announcements and stuff and unfortunately diablo immortal was was the sad thing and it's it's sad for diablo too because i feel like it does need that injection of life back into it i do like i know it's got a big player base and i know it's got people that still love it and stuff but to get people back into it i felt like it did they didn't need to bring out diablo 4 they didn't need to like surely they can whip up an animation just to say you're doing it you can say it's a couple years away like i mean they did that with classic in a way so i felt like that may have probably helped them but they didn't now unfortunately they're paying the price all right guys that's for us thank you very much for watching i appreciate it um blizzcon stuff i'm all over it uh ton of videos coming out so if you are not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up to date with everything that's coming out hit that subscribe button i appreciate it um i am gonna be checking out like well classic and stuff because i got the virtual ticket so we'll uh i'll give that demo a go so this wow kind of newbie checking out classic for the first time that's going to be interesting um yeah all right, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace. Bye.